everybody, and welcome back to a brand new episode today on Roblox. My name is Digi, and today I'm going to be showing you all, not badges, but two new achievements added to this beautiful game called the Pizzeria Roleplay Remastered. Now, these two achievements do give you rewards. They actually give you two morphs exclusive for completing these achievements. Anyway, so here we go. Here is the change log or the update log. Dave did some lag fixes. And garbage day. Look at that. One man's trash, as the proverb goes. But is this place truly another man's treasure? For longer than anyone can remember, Fazbear Entertainment has been using a scrapyard in the city for all their dirty work. But there's something building beneath this forgotten looking waste dump. Can you help a young girl put together a brave new robot and uncover the mystery of this special waste spot? I don't know. Let's find out. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and get into it. So, we're going to go to the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the 1987 FNAF 2 location. Alright, it doesn't matter what you are. You can be a human or an animatronic, but I'm going to go ahead and be myself. So, once you do this, you're going to want to go ahead and exit into the map like so, going to the doors there. Now, once you are out of the pizzeria, we're going to go to the left here and go to the back side of the pizzeria to the scrapyard. It is back there behind the pizzeria. Sadly, I cannot sprint because I am a lazy bum. But, anyways, once you get to the scrapyard, we will then begin the achievements and we'll go over the first one real quick once we get there but here we are sal's sal scrap and parts here we go disposal station three now you can either go through the front entrance or the side exit or, or side entrance over there it doesn't matter we just have to go to one person in particular all right and they're going to be on the back side of the i guess this is the breakdown station the warehouse but the person we're going to is right here there she is there's the little girl but the achievement we're going for today is going to be called routine start and anguish heart help out building hector reward hector see there we go that's the first badge morph or achievement morph so here we go want to help him build a cool robot sure why not cool let's talk some robot parts Okay, the robot's impressive so far. What do you need? Hmm? There's a few parts that I've been really hard to find lately. This scrapyard used to be a great spot for this kind of stuff. What's changed? No idea. Freddy Fazbear seems to be scrapping more recently, but I can never get my hands on any good parts of theirs. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, Ballora. Their stuff is always a prime condition. Makes sense if they get scooped up quick. Gets the competition's too steep. Competition? Other scrappers. Although in all honesty, they don't seem they that active either. The parts just seem to disappear into nowhere. Strange. What do you think I could find? I think Hector could use a jaw. You up to it? Yeah, where should I look? Check the cars around here. I got a few concepts, but I've settled on a torn tire. See if you can find one lying around. Alright, so... First, you need to find a tire part. So, you want to go over here past the big pile of garbage. And I, I'm probably in there somewhere along with Gallant Gaming. <laughs> Anyways, right here, next to this car right back side, you're going to want to go ahead and click on this tire right here. Now, while you're here, go ahead and click on this robot arm. You're going to want it later for one of the achievements. But anyways, go ahead back to the person we just spoke to. And then we will then continue on from there. She's going to then say thank you, yada yada. Anyways, so let's go ahead and back and talk to, uh, apparently, is Ballora now. <laughs> Want to help me build? Okay, so it's going to say the same thing. All you got to do is click sure. And then she's going to say that. And then it'll tell you, I've got a torn tire for you. And then it'll continue. Hey, this works perfectly. I'll bolt it in. Thanks. Uh, what's next on the agenda? Hmm, I've heard one of the places down the road is setting some old pistons for incineration in the warehouse. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, if it's not too late, you might be able to find one around. It could make a great leg with some tweaking. 
Uh, I'll get looking. All right. So to get the leg part or the piston, you're going to want to go ahead into the warehouse right over here. Go to this side and click on this button right there. A piston will pop out. Click on it. And there we go. Head back. To the human Ballora. I know it's not Ballora, but anyway, so go ahead and click the continue talking and then go through these prompts. And here we go. I found the piston you were looking for. This will work great. Hey, you're pretty good at this. Next up, I think Hector needs a hand. No pun intended. What would work well as a hand? <laughs> I'm thinking a claw. This has to be Ballora. A claw? <laughs> Yeah, claw, like from a claw machine. I think saw one around here. If you can find it, tell uh, me where it is. Shouldn't I just bring it to you? Well, if you can just find a claw, that'd be fine. But if it's all intact, I'll need to disassemble it by yourself. I don't know why she's Irish all of a sudden there. Will any claw work? Uh, I'm used to working with claw machines, so one from a machine like that specifically would be best. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the claw machine. But before we do, you have to go back over here to the big pile of trash and once you do you're gonna want to find the claw machine right over here and when you do you're gonna bump into it and it's gonna sink down into the trash pile now that's actually going down underground and we want to go this way to get to the secret underground garbage world so right over here our ladders step down bump into this crack in the wall and it will teleport you to this underground location. So, once you're down here, we're going to go ahead and keep going this way. Alright, so here we go. You can see the claw machine is coming down. Then all you have to do is click on it like so. And there we go. We got the claw. Anyway, so go ahead go back to her and have the claw ready to go. And this is going to be the three of the four parts. So we're collecting four parts. We got three of the four right now. So there we go. Go ahead. Go through the prompt. The yada yada. Cool. Thanks. You're you're not going to believe where I found the claw. A scrap. And what? A scrap dug out of good parts. So that's where all the good stuff's been going. Figures. But it's a great discovery. You're not concerned? About what? All the good stuff that's waiting for me in there? Man, I bet it was John's idea. Blame John. What would this next item be? Hector needs a heart. I've been powering him with normal motor for a while, but I need something more specialized. Where could I find one of these? Freddy's has used them before and they're more experimental robotics. They're powered by something ambiguous. Neural fluid. Dot, dot, dot. Definitely a part of that being in the, those caves, I think. The design is described in spherical core. So, look out for that. Great. So, once you do that, we're actually going to go back down into the cave or the secret underground like so. Boom. Go ahead, bump into the crack. And, oh, whoops. Uh, oopie doopie oopsie doopsie. There we go. All right. So, once we do that, we're going to go ahead and go down this way now we're gonna go all the way now there is a shortcut to get to where we need to go however don't forget we do have this robotic arm and so we're gonna go ahead and get the next achievement which is gonna be called i believe uh fully armed that is the achievement that we're going for it should be right about there it is fully armed fix a robot in the underground scrap minion so Go ahead and take this arm all the way down this way. And you're going to see a couple, I guess, robot parts all together. We're going to go through this room. Just ignore everything in here. And right here, you're going to go to this table. Bump into him. And there we go. <laughs> Fully armed is yours. Now you've got a morph, the scrap minion. Now, after you do that, we're going to continue on with the main quest. Heading down this way, we're going to go ahead down over here you can either go here or through this tube it doesn't matter um right here so boom once we're here you're going to see the red cores click on it and now once we do that once we're out and walking through this cave or secret underground we're going to be chased by scary robots there they are chasing us and you've got to get back to the surface without dying that's right you heard me now these aren't really difficult to run away from they're really slow as you can see 
But, you know, for those who may struggle, I, I would be very careful if I were you. But here we go. Simply just walk all the way back like so. And then we're going to go ahead and give the heart or the core to the human Ballora. It's not Ballora. I know it's not. But, you know, that's the only voice girl I can do or girl voice I can do. <laughs> anyway, so this is the last part that we need in order to complete the achievement or the quest. So here we go. Go ahead to the human Ballora <laughs> and click on her. And then let's go do the whole prompt, yada yada. Cool, thank you. I managed to get the heart. And there we go. I'm in awe. That's a genuine Phasmer style fluid R E M T five style engine, just like the patent described. Hector turned out great. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> oh, thanks. What am I proudest? Why don't you give him a spin? Maybe you could give him some part gathering tips, huh? What do you plan to do with him? Well, that heart you found comes equipped with an AI module. Something about that neural fluid acts kind of like a soul. So he can make a good friend? <laughs> I've heard the fluid maintains properties of memory or personality. Or something like that. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, now that I'm thinking about it, you didn't give him the soul of a murderer, bud, right? <laughs> Kidding. Bro. There we go. You got... The, uh, the the achievement, I almost called it bad. The routine start, anguish heart, and there he is, Hector. All right, so we're going to go ahead and check out the achievement morphs here. I believe they are going to be under achievement characters. So there is Bringer, the minion one, and then Hector. Let's go ahead and check out the minion real quick. The Bringer, interesting. Oh, that is, that's terrifying. Look at that thing. Wow. All right, uh, stand, spin. Oh, oof. <laughs> Sit, spin. Okay. Hydraulic sounds, scream, walking. Very cool. That's awesome. This is fantastic. I love this. All right, next one is Hector, which I think is going to be my favorite. Look at that. That's awesome. Toggle chest. What happened? What happened to the chest? Oh, it just, it just opens up. Look. Oh. Look, it's his heart. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Aww. Oh, whisper, walk, scream, and then all the normal animations. Look at this. Well done. Stop! Anyways, everyone, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe down below, and join the Batch Hunting Squad today. I also have a real boss group, a Twitter, and a Discord. The links are down below. I love you all. And as always, stay cool. Good luck, Batch Hunting. Bye-bye.